Lionhead Studios. Microsoft Studios. So for today, we're going to jump into Fable. I don't need to see this anymore because it's dead up. I always enjoyed Fable. I've been playing through it off screen. Well, in my spare time for a while. Change hero. New hero. Chicken chaser. Alright. New game. I always enjoyed Lionhead Studio games. I really like black and white. The series. Oh, they're trying to record. That's a pain because OBS doesn't like that. And also, it's kind of a mini R. It has RTS on. It's just a lot of waiting. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. I think this was the second game. Just like your mother. Mine uh, Microsoft we had remastered well, like they did with Halo Anniversary. Here. She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you've forgotten to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oak, but that should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get right, moving good deeds. stay out of trouble. Like I was saying, like, you can pretty much tell this is just a, a graphics upgrade because they keep the old stilted animations. <laughs> And everything. Can't switch between them though, like you couldn't have an anniversary though. Hello, little girl, what do you need? I've lost Rosie! I left her and I can't remember where. It's not that chicken, is it? Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. Okie doke. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Right, there's a green orb behind here. Run along. Oh, come here, my little. What? Uh, I, I was just um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, naughty, son, naughty. Keep your mouth shut about this, right? Listen, the kids are mute. My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep it. No deal. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't know whether I'll do a evil or good run, but it's kind of hard for me to do evil deeds unless they deserve a slap in the face. Okay, so the green orc here is just a traitor. are you up to today? Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? He's up behind the barn. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Talk to Thank me about you, Balverines. Sir, for telling Put your me. face off, they will. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! 
We're gonna see a chair go flying down, a table go flying down that hill. Alright, next good deed. Oh, oh thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? Mammy? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in Okay, for but you this place starts back. burning down. I'm not gonna help. You told me just not to move. Right. Won't be long. I'll stand there and watch like a good boy. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Okay. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. I'll smash you into a barrel. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. Come on, let's go and break stuff. Are you just gonna stand there like a lemon? My life gives you lemons. So Kick the kid in the face. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. I'm just going to annoy you. Huh. Have your stupid good deed then. This is I thought you could see him run back on the mini map. The little green orb. There he is now. Excellent thanks, lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Alright, that's two done. Could he just gone on a barrel, sold as premium? I forgot. Stupid little idiot. In the later years, the series all expanded. Ow! Hey, get up! What you do? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. What's wrong with his teeth? Yeah. I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. What's wrong with his neck? I think. Oh, we gotta get Rosie back. And I think that'll be our four good deeds done. Huh. You could have smashed those barrels while he was away. Sissy. <sighs> you found Rosie. Thank you so much. Oh my god, look at the kid in the back. His face is like... Mm. It blink. Your eyes are being burned. It's like you're looking into the sun. You'll see two steams of... Streams of steam coming out of his eyes. Any second now. I think he had a stroke. Come on, Mosey. Let's change your stuffing. Right. Uh, go talk to the trader now. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. That accent's seen, not creepy at all. Got her a present yet. Why does he have a lisp? It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Three oh, gold coins? I thought it was always four. Funds, sonny. Just three. Remember your father. Oh, I never talked to his dad. Can't buy stuff with good deeds and all. I always thought it was well four done, gold you need to buy it. For those good deeds. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? Right there. We made a profit on that little venture. So, buddy. You're lucky I've still got these sweets. I would have eaten them myself. Quickly, 
Give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Is that his arms, or that is that like a shirt? It's like he's just his arms become bacon. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? All right, let's go find Teresa. Let's notice there's no color skate here at this start of the game. Didn't know they could install new colors. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. What day is it? Sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that though. I'm still waiting for my present. A doll, a drum, a kick to the shin. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Man, that scarecrow's seen better days. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. I wonder the bandit not seen him jump the fence when he was staring right at him. Got one. Oh, this is bad news. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. To have a good fantasy story without a village getting burned down. Also, dude, seriously, this no one checked the field where he was hiding. I would not even attempt to walk under this bridge if it was on fire like this. It's too toasty. Shocking, really. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. The new graphics really didn't help the eyes. Let's say that. Hmm. I thought 
thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. I swear Maze's voice actor was... My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find no I swear he was in Mass Effect as the Codex narrator. Nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. Become Batman. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Bye. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> power always comes with a price, and the power to be a hero came with the price of Oak Vale. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. You would too if you just saw your old brothers get burnt. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. And then onward. More training. Start training. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! I will say this, looking at this map, it kind of reminds me just of a, the map of, like, world maps of Black and White. I don't want to go play black and white, damn it. Alright, there are three quests here. One is to pick up these cooking apples. I need five of them. I'll keep an eye on them once we finish this. Alright, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Now then. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Oh. Not making much of an impact there, are you? Here, try with this. Oh, wait. There you go. Gotta get the controls back. Ah, dummy. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance, while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Alright, beetles in the woods. First things first, let's just explore the guild grounds. There's an apple. 
There's another apple. Silver key chest with 20 on it. That'll be a while before we get that. Alright, another apple. Alright, I'll pick up these two apples and we'll go in and see if we can hand this in. Mm. I have to make an apple pie for the guildmaster at the end of the week. But I can't find any more red apples. Oh, I need four red I apples. Need another four. If you find enough, can you bring them back here? I'll reward you. Thanks. Thank you so much. The guildmaster will get his pie. Here, have this. I got a blueberry pie. I gotta keep an eye on all those bookshelves for a later quest, though. Alright, so we still have two more. Green blips. This one should be the yes uh, to race. We're discussing whether I'm the fastest apprentice in this guild. I ran to the demon door and back in 50 seconds. Beat that! Alright. Right then, get to the demon door and back and talk to me in 50 seconds. I did it in 50 seconds. No one has beaten that. It's a good thing there's no stamina meter. So I always try and stand back as far as I can from him. It's in that way you can just haul ass back. Alright, there you go. Hmm. Well, the students are out today. Fifteen seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five. Cool. That's amazing! How did you do it? I lost my bet. Right then. Next one is inside Mace's tower. The journey's length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face? The signs are too strong to ignore, and the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May <coughs> death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. The Tough. Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. He's just a shell now. What does he know of the choices we have to make, of what it takes to get things done? Right, there we go, that's all the side quests done in the guild at this time. Now we go in and fight beetles. Alright, ten beetles. Flashy like the Dark Souls or Elden Ring style.
Well, really wasted the day away, didn't we? Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. We've done everything we can do. Let's bring in the apprentice training. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Yeah. Get out of bed, lazy bone. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Time to race Whisper. I don't think it's difficult to lose this race. Excuse me, come through. I don't even think she's left the guild hall yet. Late again. Stop. You can put that old stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Your wizard hero. Come on then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. How did that get through? Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. The life of a hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. But I got potions. You, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Right, right bumper blocks. One hit. Two hit. I'll hit you next time. <clears throat> there we go. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack and defense. Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some fan boy. Maze thinks the boy has great potential. Enough to keep up with my Whisper. Ha! <laughs> well, why don't we see? Whisper and the boy are just working on their melee skills now. All right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no-holds-barred duel, just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. Come on, now. get your guard out! Dodge, block, hurry, thrust. That's Dead. all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is, without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range, when you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance? Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam, and you'll do well. Yeah. Now we will continue then on. Meet me by the archery range to continue your training. So I think a. No. Oh, I see. The guild 
Must be later on. Where is that him? Yeah, that's the trainer dude, that's the melee instructor. Now we can take the test. Are you ready? Let's just do the archery and the will train first. The bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make sure you stay within the circle. What's the button that makes you zoom? There we go. Okay, well, this would have been easier with a mouse. Well done! You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target to is win worth it. one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points. But you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. Six there. Yeah, I don't want to go too high with the uh, score because I think whatever high score I get here will be the uh, archery test one. Good strike. I go for one fifty. There we go. No, we'll just leave that there now. Excellent hit. Yeah, just Keep for the hell of it. Excellent shooting, my lad. Do that in your skill test, and I'll be most impressed. All right, Next, you on. We'll learn about the ways of the will. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfalls. Alright, we might as well do the melee test while we're here. Want to practice. Right, this melee combat against Whisper counts. Right, let's get Whisper and you in the ring. Same rules as before. I have a special prize for you, if you manage an A+. Alright, let's do this. All right, you can stop now. There we are. That was very impressive. Whisper should be ashamed. She got one drop of blood out of me. That grade means I can award you a new weapon. A frying pan. As uh, a katana. Let's see what this weapon's like. That's the wrong button. Show off. I'm the skill grader. Can you let me get to the arch? You really showed whisper. All right, first things first. Let's actually do the will training. So now I, when we do the archery training, the Just will tester will. should get here. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. Shocking. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. 
Right, let's see what we got. Whoops. My mic fell over. The only bad thing about this thing is the freaking bad build monsters right next to the fucking dummy, so sometimes you can actually lock onto him. No, I think we're done here. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods, if you wish to join her. Very you can well. play a Whisper. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Yep, yeah, the archery guy is there. Archery graded. Now the guildmaster has asked me to grade everyone's archery skills. All right, let's do and this. If you get an A plus, you'll receive a special prize. You've got one minute, starting when you fire your first shot. Wait for it. Wait for it. No. Yeah, <laughs> my score is the score I got earlier. High scores. Damn it. Turned too much. Why am I struggling so much? That was superb. I ain't never seen any better got than it. that. You've got an A+. Plus. The Guildmaster said, if anyone shot brilliant, <coughs> I could award them this. We got a U crossbow. Whew, that was some fancy shooting. Alright, let's go do the will training next. And that'll be all three trainings. Any apprentices need will training? And two items. Other... No. You've got 30 seconds once you first cast lightning to hit as many targets as you can. There's a special prize for A-plus students, you know. At least he's standing away from the... ...dummy so he doesn't get shocked. Honestly, I think this is the easiest one to get the A plus out of. Since all you gotta do is just keep hitting the left one first, and it just keeps going around. That's astonishing! Bloody hell! A plus! The Guildmaster said to award these items to anyone who excelled at the will test. Will potion. Resurrection vial. I still haven't seen anyone perform better than you. I can be the only one who took the test at the moment. Alright, the demon doors. Your path is dark. Only a light will reveal it, and you are not bright enough. There's one demon door. It's by the hob cave that needs you to let like 20 combat multiplier, and that one sucks to get. It took me ages to get it last time I went through this. Come 
Into the woods we go. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. Oh, if you get a high enough skill level, a single hit can take their head off. Hey, stop ducking, you dick. There we go. Got him. We did it! Did you see the look on their faces? Wait till the guildmaster hears about this. Knock their heads straight off. Right then, let's head back. And we need to do the final phase of the Heroes Guild prologue. Some fancy shooting. Uh, I'll take the left bridge. The side mission there on the right is just to kill little birds around the guild. I don't want you to undo that. It's just bird. What the hell is that? There's a pair of eyes just floating there. They're gone now. It's the ghost of the bandits I killed. Right, final training. The boy years. mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would Bigger. receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Alright, let's do this. Grand finale of the guild. Training years. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. You're getting better at this. Good. You're quick. Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Excellent. Doesn't matter how much damage you do, it's just hit him a certain amount of times. Two, three, four, five, six, done. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test, and you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guildmaster. Alright, then. Let us go and 
Lake Wind. So, well, I did it. This is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices whether they lead you down the path of good or evil will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. Onward to more adventure. It's time for you to leave us, lad. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light, and I'll show you how to do this. Alright, so we can upgrade whatever he wants. I'm gonna upgrade Guile a bit. Oh, I can upgrade the two. And I have no will experience. There is little else for me to teach you. But I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Yay, guild training complete. By that, we'll call that there. We'll move out into the world next time. Yeah.